What's up? My name is Alexis and welcome to my channel. If you've been here before, thank you for returning. If you haven't, then don't forget to hit that subscribe and like button. So today, I am going to be straightening my hair. It has been a very long time since I've full on straightened it. And I'm excited to see where my hair is sitting because it's getting very long. But you know when it's curly, you can kind of tell how long it is, but not exactly. And yeah, I'm going to show you how to do that. So. This is just a microfiber towel. I only use these on my hair. I do not use regular towels because it pulls, tugs, and it can break your hair. So I use microfiber towels only. My hair has been washed and deep conditioned. I used the Diva Curl Malik, uh, the mushroom water, you know what I'm talking about? The molecular water uh, clarifying shampoo. Um, I also use the Shea Moisture Jamaican Black Castor Oil um, Deep Conditioner, which is like my go-to. I sectioned it off into four. They're not neat sections, but they will do. First, I need a leave-in slash heat protectant, which this does both. I'm going to do each section. This is how I'm gonna do all of it. So I'm just gonna unravel. I'm going to spray it down. I am just going to quickly brush it through so it's evenly distributed. And I'm going to do this one section on camera and then I'm going to do the rest off camera. Brush is gliding through nicely. The ends might need a little bit more love. Okay. Looking good, looking good. Just going to take that section, put it up. I work in very small sections so that I can ensure that all of my hair is dry and I can um, also straighten it a lot easier because once it's smoother, it's less work, you know. So I'm going to be using this old blow dryer. You can literally use whatever blow dryer. I tried a lot of different methods of blow drying my hair, but I personally really love this comb attachment so I don't really have to do much but let it just glide through. And I'm gonna use a medium setting. Okay, as you can see, my hair is pretty smoothed out. It's 100% dry, tangle free. And yeah, so basically that's what I'm gonna do for every section. It's ready for flat ironing, but I have to do the entire head like this and I don't wanna bore you guys, so I will see you in a minute. Okay, so my hair is officially 100% dry. I blow dried it just how I showed you guys. Now it's time to get started on straightening. This is what it looks like, completely blow dried. Let's get started. So I have this old flat iron. I've had it for many years because I literally never ever use it. This is probably the second time I've straightened my hair this year and it's December, so. Twice a year. <laughs> I typically don't put it on very high heat, but I have noticed that when I do that, when I use a low temperature, that my hair tends to frizz out a bit. So I'm gonna try it on a higher temperature. I am going to do 410. Let's try that out. First off, I am going to section my hair off kind of how I did before, um, into fours and I'm going to part my hair before I get started so that way the way that I straighten my hair is the way it's actually going to lay, if that makes sense. So I'm feeling this middle part. Yeah. Works. And so you can see my middle part. 
And I'm gonna divvy my hair. I probably won't do four sections. I'll probably just do two. Let's start on this side. So I'm gonna start from the bottom and I'm going to end on the top. And I'm still gonna be taking small sections. That much for a section. I'm gonna use this comb. So I'm gonna comb it a few times. And then I'm gonna use this fine tooth side. So I'm gonna touch. And I'm gonna go relatively slow. I'm gonna stop that pass. Okay, that's one little section, and now I have my entire head to do. Yay! <laughs> I'm passing through really slow so that I don't have to do like a million passes through my hair because the extra passes are what really damages your hair. Can't stress the importance of taking little sections as opposed to big sections. It definitely makes your hair a lot straighter, a lot faster. It just looks so much better when you do it that way. Okay, so this is my final result. I am very happy with the way it turned out. It's very flowy and shiny and straight. And my hair is getting quite long, I would say. So yeah, thank you guys if you've made it this far. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment. And if you have any questions or suggestions maybe for the next time I do this, let me know in the comments below. Okay, thanks guys. I'll see you in the next video.